The global framework comes on the day the United Nations Biodiversity Conference, or COP15, is set to end in Montreal. The most significant part of the agreement is a commitment to protect 30% of land and water considered important for biodiversity by 2030, known as 30 by 30. Currently, 17% of terrestrial and 10% of marine areas are protected. The deal also calls for raising 200 billion U.S. dollars by 2030 for biodiversity from a range of sources and working to phase out or reform subsidies that could provide another 500 billion U.S. dollars for nature. As part of the financing package, the framework asks for increasing to at least 20 billion US dollars annually by 2025. The money that goes to poor countries, that number will increase to 30 billion US dollars each year by 2030. Financing emerged late in the talks and risk derailing an agreement. What we have accomplished in a way is a reflection of the journey that our two countries have gone through over the coming months in deciding to set aside our differences and to choose to work together on the things that unite us. And I think this is reflective of what we have just adopted tonight under your leadership. And I, on behalf of Canada and Canadians, I want to thank you for that. Distinguished delegates, this is a historical moment. Today, at the end of a long journey, which involved numerous meetings in different parts of the world and moving forward with our work even at the height of the global COVID-19 pandemic, we finally reached our destination.